Oh, look at this eight frame. I almost missed that. Look at this eight frame. I almost missed that. Oh, look at this eight frame. <laughs> well, folks, if you listen closely, you'll hear some dogs barking. The neighbor's dogs. Charlie usually starts that up. Goes up and gets them riled up. I don't think he's guilty tonight, but anyway. And you'll also hear the electric fence clicking away, which I'm about to go close. If you look closely, you'll see there's a few bees at the single deep there. They're coming in for the evening. And I better look at Charlie. He's getting close to the electric fence. Charlie! Charlie! You better not go over there. Let's see. You're just trying to cause trouble, aren't you, Charlie? There he goes. There he goes. Come back here, Charlie. Come on. You don't need to go running off. <laughs> Guess I'll go turn the electric fence off. The electric fence is up here on the hillside. Just got on this post. Better run plugging it. So there we go. My electric fence isn't that fancy. I got some springs from Tech supply. I didn't get the one with the insulated because it costs quite a bit more. And besides, you're not supposed to open this thing when the power's on. I have forgot almost once, but I didn't. Anyway, I got that one, tractor supply, and I picked up a couple here that uh, I got from Habitat for Humanity. So I found out that a lot of things at Habitat, I got to get down here where I can see you, uh, are cheaper and it does a service to this country. Now I'll tell you, earlier today, I wasn't really into getting in, out in the bees and actually getting into them, but um, I've been playing out there with a dog, with Charlie. And then I went and dug some ditches, and I got tired. That's what happens when you get old. I got tired a lot quicker than I wanted to. So I went back in the house and said, eh, I'm not going to do a video today. But then I got to thinking, later when I recovered, after drinking some beverages, uh, hey, it's not too bad. It's fun to watch these bees. You see them right here. They kicked out some dead ones, these little guard ones, they're not too worried about me. It's kind of fun to watch them. That one over there has got some over there too. I don't know where you can see them in that video. I think I have been there. But uh, sometimes you just got to come out and look. Now they've been pinned up in here for quite some time so they had to come out and do a little pooping. That's one of the things they do. So you see these stripes on your hives and that's what it is. They get a little chance to get out and clean themselves out after being in the hive for several weeks. I've got another yard I gotta look into. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain though. So it's about to get an inch and a half of rain. And so I probably won't be able to get out there and do that. Hello. I think a cardinal's out there singing for us. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bees right there in that little hole. And the, uh, the reducers will be coming out soon once it warms up. Next week we'll probably have about um, five or six days where it's above... Uh, 49 degrees Fahrenheit and after that we'll probably get a little more rain we get a lot of rain we'll probably have another cold spell 
it's a little concerning because we don't want things blooming and then being frosted, but that's nature for you. <laughs> uh, we have all of February to go, just a little bit of January, a little bit of March. All those days can be snowy days. But usually after the 15th of February, we don't have too much cold weather. It's really kind of nice about that. We've got a short winter. This winter we've only had a few snow flurries, not much at all. I kind of miss seeing the snow, but I don't miss being in the mess. don't really care that much for all that rain. But that's what makes the flowers grow, and that's what the bees get their nectar from, so that's what we need. Oh, look at this double ape frame. There's a bunch of bees down there. Almost missed that. There's probably uh, 11 or 12 right there in front. So good to see them. Now I've got this little double deep here. It's got probably 10, 12, maybe 15 bees trying to get in out of that little hole. And they got a bigger hole over there. Don't know what's going on with that. But they still manage. There must be more pheromones over by this hole. <laughs> Notice how they don't bother me. They're not concerned with me at all. We're concerned with this warmer weather, January 2024. Woo! Now this is a little double deep eight frame. And they're doing really good. Look at that. There's probably 15 or 20 bees right there. There's two holes in the most of them trying to go in that side. And there's a big old hole over here and they don't seem to be going in there at all. Well, there are a few going in and out. Now, some of them do look like baby bees, but I don't think so. Wow. That one looks like it had a little pollen on it. I wonder where she got that. This one here. Huh. Well, it's almost dark. Thought I'd come out here and give it one more shot. And see if I couldn't get a little bit more video for you to enjoy and for me to enjoy. And the bees have just proved me right. And the birds are out there too. Look at that little bee coming right here by my finger. Isn't that beautiful? That's a fine looking bee. This is the fun of beekeeping. Getting out and watching your bees. I hope you do. I hope you get out there and do that. I hope you have a few bees. Hope you get some honey too. Okay, I'm just making this stuff up, folks. Just bear with me here, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get a little pleasure in the evening. And I hope I give you a little pleasure too. We'll see y'all later. Gotta go. Ah. As I was leaving there, I thought I'd make another video. <laughs> A little closer up so you can see those bees in action. They're walking in and out even now as the sun is going down very rapidly here in the valley. You know we're only about eight miles from the Appalachian Trail here. 2200 elevation. So we have some mild winters and this is pretty nice when it warms up a little bit. So I just thought I'd add this a little bit. I wanted to uh, had some more stuff to put in while I was talking so I could get a few of those bees a little closer up since my head was not in the picture and so I thought I'd do that so I figured I might as well talk on it while I'm doing it so not much uh, important to say except I'm enjoying this weather but Okay, again, hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Hope you enjoy watching these bees. I think I'll take one more click. Maybe this will be the thumbnail picture. We'll see. I guess it's time to head back to the house. It's been nice talking to you. And I hope you like this video and 
hope it's uh, got a calming effect for you. I'm trying to calm down myself. <laughs> from, the stump, from the stump garden. From the stump garden. This is Richard. Have a good day. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you. See y'all later. Bye. Got to hook up that electric fence. <laughs>